In this video, we're going to learn about the closure of an attribute. The closure of an attribute are all the attributes that can be determined from that same attribute using the given dependencies of the relation. Let's make this more clear by seeing some examples. We are given the following relation with the following functional dependencies. For our first example, we're looking for the closure of C. In order to do so, we're looking for all the attributes that can be derived from the attribute C. So first of all, we add the attribute C to the closure of C because obviously we can determine C from the attribute C. Secondly, we go to the functional dependency C goes to E. We can see that we can determine E from the attribute C. So now our closure of C at the moment is C and E. Now we'll go to the functional dependency C goes to D. We can determine D from the attribute C. So we add the attribute D to the closure of C. Now that we have checked all the functional dependencies, and found all the attributes that can be determined from the attribute C, we will do the same process for the attributes in the closure that we have already found. Now we will check the attribute E. We can see that E goes to A. Then we will add A to the closure of C. Now that we have used all the functional dependencies, using the attributes from our closure, we have achieved our final closure of C. Now let's do another example. Let's find the closure of the pair of attributes AB. From the first functional dependency, AB goes to C, we can determine C. So we will add AB and C attributes the closure of AB. Like we said in the last example, after checking all the functional dependencies that go from the attribute or attributes of the closure we are checking, we will go to the attributes that we found in the closure and check them one by one. Now we see that the functional dependency CE, meaning C gives us E, so we will add the attribute E to the closure of AB. From the next functional dependency, C goes to D, we can determine D from C. So we add the attribute D to the closure of AB. Now we move on to the next attribute. The next attribute is D. There are no functional dependencies that go from D, so we move on to the attribute E. We can see that there's a functional dependency E goes to A. We have already determined A because the closure is AB. So there is no use in adding A to the closure because it is already in the closure. We have now achieved our final closure of AB.